Hi guys, Nancy here from Loombicious. Today we will be making, not my design, but a design Rachel Norton thought of and made. So here is the bracelet. A West Highland white bracelet or a Scotty bracelet if you make this with black bands. Um, well, first of all, Rachel, thank you for helping me out here. It's a really, uh, well, awesome design, really cute. Um, and I'm proud uh, I can record this for you. So, um, well, let's do this. And again, thank you very much. And we will create the West Highland White slash Scotty bracelet now. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, you did a great job, Rachel, really. You could be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. So I have your your sketch here with me. I did make some minor adjustments, but not really. You will notice, I guess no one else will, but you will notice. I altered it a tiny bit. So let's start making this beautiful bracelet. Um, I will do a black one this time, so I will do a Scotty, since I already made a West Highland white. So let us start. We're going to start with, can you guys guess what? The ears. The ears will be completely double looped. So grab your single bands of your main body color, either... Uh, white or black, of course. Mine will be black. I will turn my loom for this. Single bands need to be double looped. Follow me. One here. We need to place five in the center, in the middle row. Go up five times with a single band double looped. Like this, grab another single band, double loop it, place it from here to here. You need to overstretch this band. And place from here to here. And do the same thing on the opposite side. So from here to here, overstretch them. And from here to here, also overstretched. Grab another single band, double loop, and create a horizontal band here. Grab another one and cap off the tip of the ear by wrapping this band around four times. I do have to warn you guys, this will be a long video. We can loom now. So first loom up this double loop band, then search for the first you come across here, loom over diagonally, like this, and this, then loom over this diagonally band, and this one, and then we can loom up the center completely, if your hook won't be stuck. I do have to warn you for the final band, it can be quite tight. Mine is, I don't dare to pull it. So I will use a extra hook to get it through. And then loom over. Then you can carefully remove the ear from your loom. Obviously, you have to create a second one. You can do this exactly the same. You don't have to mirror it or do anything else with it. But this is one ear. Go back and create a second ear. Put this aside for now. And let us do the top of the head. Grab two bands at a time now and follow me. Oh, 
also in the center, of course. These are all two bands at a time. Like I told you guys before, this will be a long video because the bracelet will be with poof for the whole bracelet. And I didn't do, just follow me in between while I'm chatting. Uh, I didn't do anything before. Look, I have a empty bracelet loom here. So you will have to fast forward me when we're going to make the bracelet, I guess. Um, yeah, grab two bands again of your main body color and create horizontal bands like we normally do. Grab a single black band and cap off this pack by wrapping this band around four times. Like this. Now we can loom. Go behind this cap band. Ooh, behind the cap band. Grab the top two bands, loom over, grab the next, loom over, and the next. No, stop. We will also make the top of the head poofy. So, grab two bands of your main body color, or the color you want the, the poof to be. Doesn't necessarily have to be uh, black. But grab two, get them around your hook once and twist them again. So you have a figure eight on your hook with two bands. And this will be one poof. So lift up the loom bands and slide this over and replace. Again. You have to do this three times, of course. So do this with every loomed set. You will get the hang of this. It is quite easy. Not that difficult to do. Um, yes, continue looming. So loom up once on the side. Well, loom up once on each row. We're going to do the sides a tiny bit different. Grab a single band, double loop this on your hook. Slide this over first and replace. Now grab a ear. I will show you how to attach it on the hook. If I can manage to get it on my hook. It doesn't want to. Yes. I have one on my hook. You have to have it on your hook like this. It's curving in that direction. Like this. Then slide this ear over. Onto that same set of bands. Replace again and make another tiny poof for the back of the ear. Also onto that band, onto those bands. Those are two bands, of course. We need to do the same thing on the opposite side. So first make a tiny poof, slide it over, get the ear on your hook in the same position curved in that direction that way can you guys see this i hope you guys can i might need to adjust my camera a tiny bit there's more light here uh, again slide over the ear now onto this band onto those bands Replace and make another tiny poof. And replace. Now you can grab two again at once. Double loop them. And slide over the set in the center. Now loom up the final sets. And 
and we have to add some more poof there. So again, same process. Slide it over and replace. And once more, slide it over. Now grab three random bands to tie off the end. Simply make slip knots so your work won't fall apart. We will remove those bands later so the color doesn't matter. Don't use jelly bands, by the way, because they're quite slippery. I suggest you don't use jelly bands to tie things off. But then again, you can try. Yay! There we have the top of the heads. Look at that. Awesome. With poof. So put this aside for now. We will attach it later. Let us continue with the bottom jaw. And I do have to check things out here. A tiny bit. Hmm. Well, let's start with two bands at a time. Follow me. I do have to check carefully here. But follow me. Two bands at a time. I'm going to do the row on top first. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Do the same thing on the opposite side with two bands of your main body color. Also go up six times or to your right. Depends on how you uh, like to put bands on your loom. I like to do this sideways, but you can also do this from top to bottom. Let's do the center, two bands at a time. We will add poof. <laughs> we will. One, two, three, four. Go down four times with two bands. Now grab three, three bands. Here they are three bands, place them here and continue with two bands at a time and stop here. These are twisted, I don't want that. Uh, let me see, can we attach? Yes. Now go diagonally with two bands here. Whoa, I said that way too fast. <laughs> go diagonally with Two bands here. I'm kind of hyper. I don't know why, but hmm. I guess I'm excited to do this um, design. That ain't mine. This is my first time, to be honest, to do somebody else's else's design based on my own. But it's kind of new for me, so I'm trying to do my best here. Let us continue. We're going to add some poof onto the one, two, three, fourth set on the side. You will have to turn your loom for this, otherwise you can slide it over. Grab two bands of your main body color. Wrap them around twice, like a figure eight, double loops, to be honest. Lift up the fourth set on the side and slide it over like this again create some poof on your hook yeah i'm working backwards my design or my no rachel her design is the other way around but i did draw my own uh, design out so I do have to check. Yeah, again. So another poof, lift up the bands, slide it over. 
I guess. Now there will be a slight difference. Well, it doesn't matter. No, grab two bands. Make another poof. And slide it over. And do this a fourth time for the diagonally bands. There also need to be poof on the bottom there. Yeah. Like this. We have to do the same process onto the opposite side. Make poof and attach it around the same bands on the other side. That's actually all I'm doing. You don't even have to look. Look. Because you can already see where you need to place them. We have to do this for the whole bracelet, guys. So, can you imagine? This will take some time. But luckily, you guys have the power to fast forward me. Unless you don't want to miss anything I'm saying. Well, let me see. Yeah, that's about it for now, for the bottom. So, we're going to play some horizontal bands. I will turn my loom again. Grab two bands at a time. And place them here. Make a triangle shape. Grab two more bands. Create a triangle shape again. Push down a tiny bit. And do this until you reach the top. Like this, these are all two bands. Now grab a single black band. You need to double loop this one and make a triangle here. Like this. Now, cap off the bottom by wrapping a single band around four times. Obviously, this will be black with me. You can hardly see its nose, I guess, but. If you like to change the color of the nose, you can also use gray. Or, well, you can even use pink, I guess. Yeah, could be. So, let us create some eyes. Um, grab your eye color. My eyes will be green. Wrap a single band around two times. Then wrap around a black band four times. Grab your eye color band again and wrap around two times. Then grab a single black or a single main body color band. Double loop that one, hold it with your finger and slide over the eyes or the eye. Like this, good part of the eye will have to face towards the nose. One, two, three, four. On the fourth peg. Um, no, wait, guys, sorry. Fourth peg from the side to the fifth peg in the center. So from here to here. The good part will have to face in that direction. So from the fourth to the fifth. And obviously, we have to do this a second time. So wrap your eye color band around two times. Grab a black band, wrap it around four times. Oh my, that's hard. <sighs> no, it ain't. It ain't hard. Grab a single main body color band again. You need to double loop that band, hold it with your finger and slide over the eye. If you can manage. It's a bit tricky to do this. Most of the time this goes well. You can also use beads. Rachel most of the time is using beads for eyes. That looks really awesome. I can't find those 
beads here in the Netherlands. But this will do. I'll place it onto the opposite side, of course. And then we can moon. Yes. Yes, we can. But be aware we have to make poof also on the top of the snout. So have your main body color bands ready. Go behind your cap band. Grab the top two bands, loom across. Get inside the cap band again and grab the next. And grab those. I believe you don't have to do the center with poof. No, loom up the center until you reach the eyes. These are three bands, if I'm correct. Yes. So stop there. Don't do anything there. But now grip your poof bands, get two around your hook, make a figure eight with them, lift up the bands you loomed here, and slide over. Do the same thing onto the opposite side. I will have to turn my loom, otherwise I can slide it over. But you guys can see what I'm doing. Then loom over again on the side. Make sure you only grab the bottom two bands and make poof again. So get them around your hook, slide it over. Like this, then loom up once more. Oh my, that's bad. D try not to grab your poof bands. Because they're at the, at the bottom too. But that's fine. And loom over this side again, make poof. We will have to do poof for the sides the whole way now. After we loom. If you attach this after you loom, it will be on top. And if you also attach this at the bottom before you loom, it will be on the bottom. And again, loom up. Loom up the next set. And attach poof. There, so grab two bands. I'm sorry if I'm working kind of diagonally, but otherwise I keep twisting my loom. And it's even more difficult for you guys to watch. Or getting seasick here. <laughs> so let's do it like this. Well, after you've done this, grab the top of your, well, in my case, a uh, Scotty hat. So this is the top. Um, you will have to hold this upside down. I will remove my loom for now. Otherwise you guys can see. You have to stick your hook through the first loom set in the center. Not the cap end, but the first loom set in the center. You need to stick your hook through there. Just stick it through with the ears facing down. And the tying bands facing towards you. Stick it through. And make sure you are, have the two loops that are on there, on front of your hook. So, I will have to check if I'm true correctly. Yes, I am. So, now we have to do another thing. You need to stick your hook through the poof. Like this. So, it should be on your hook like this. So, you're... Stick your hook through straight and then go back a tiny bit and also go underneath those four loops, the poof. So it's on your hook like this right now. Then grab your loom, grab those bands in between the eyes. So grab them, tying bands are facing towards you, grab those bands. Pull them up and carefully slide over the head, making sure you go through the poof. This is difficult for me to see. 
Yes, I'm through correctly. <laughs> that ear is stuck. Yeah. Then loom over. And you can loom over further until you reach this peg. Don't continue any further. Stop there. Uh, yes, loom up the sides. Loom up once on both sides because we also need to attach poof onto those bands. So grab two bands again. Have them on your hook twice. Wrap them around your hook twice. Slide over onto those bands you just loomed. And same thing here. Then loom up one set further. And the same thing again. Double loop them. Two bands. Well, it's the same thing. This is the poof technique, I guess. So always two bands. Wrapped around twice. Slide over the bands. Um, now we will attach the top of the head. You might want to remove some part of the snout. You don't have to, but you can do this. I will do this now. I will get this off my loom. Funny. Looks funny. Don't get it completely from your loom. Only until you reach the eye part, I guess. Yeah, and you can lift up this band. Now we need to attach those three loose ends onto those three pegs. So I'm going to start with the center. Remove the tying band. Attach it and loom the final set. We will also attach poof there. Also do this on the sides. You can also leave the tying bands if you want to. Also be attaching poof there. And we have a third set. Also attach it around the correct peg. This one. Yeah. And loom over. Only the bottom two bands. Now we have to do the same technique again. Poofy. Make your woofy poofy. Hmm. I know I'm in front of the light. I'm sorry. But I guess you guys understand what to do. Now grab three bands again and tie off. Make slip knots. And then we can do the bottom jaw. Like this, remove the top of the head from your loom. The eyes might kind of get stuck in between. I will show you. Well, you just need to pull them through. So remove this from your loom. Yank a bit on the nose. And pull a bit on those eyes. So you will get to the front. This will be kind of black here. It's hard for me to see with the lighting here. Well, I can check this out later when I'm downstairs. How it's looking. I have bad vision here with the light like this. But if I turn on more light, everything will be yellow on my screen, so I can't do that. Adjust the eyes if you want to. This will be the top of your Scuddy head. 
So put this aside for now. Oh, it looks awesome. And let us do the bottom jaw. Also two bands at a time. Follow me. So two here. Is that correct? Yes. But we also need to attach some double loop bands. We need to place some double loop bands. These are two bands at a time. One, two, three, four. Place four sets of two bands on each side. Can grab those now. Uh, let me see what's handy. Uh, It doesn't matter, to be honest. Red is for the bottom. Sorry guys, just checking out. Red is the bottom. Yeah, place a double loop bend here. We can do this like this. And another double loop bend. Here. Do the same thing on the opposite side. I know my hand is in front of the light that way. I have to kind of twist it. Well, two double loop bands there. Now let's do the center first. Now grab two bands again. And then we will add some proof there. One, two, three, four, five. Go down five times with two bands. Then double loop a single black band. You know what? I'll do this like this. <laughs> if I can get a hold of it. Like this. And another one. Double looped single. And two more. Not in the center, but diagonally. This will be the tip of the snout. Of the bottom jaw. These are also double loop singles placed there. Now we're going to attach poof. We're going to attach it everywhere at the bottom. So you need to lift up each band, each set of bands and double loop bands. I'll put some black bands here. Sorry. I know that makes a lot of noise. Fill your whole loom. Each band, each set of bands, lift them up, attach poof. We'll have to do this for the whole bottom jaw. So, let's do that. I'm thirsty again. I'm talking way too much. Also the double loop bands, lift them up and attach poof.
almost there. One set to go, or actually one double loop bend to go. I tie off the bottom with a single main body color band, wrap it around four times. Now we're going to place the horizontal bands, double loop a single black or white, place it there, another one, place it here, also double looped, and another one. Is this one double looped or not? Yes, another double loop band. Then grab two bands at a time and go onto the top like this. Now grab your pink bands. We're going to create a tongue. I'm sorry, I need to open up a bag. Some pink bands here. Grab a single pink band, double loop this one, place it somewhere on your loom. Grab two pink bands and grab two again. Now grab a single band and wrap this around three times. Like this. Loom. This will be the tongue. You can leave it on your loom there, like this, until we need it. Um, we'll also be attaching some poof on top, but I will show you where. Go behind the cap band and grab the first double loop band you come across, loom over, then grab the next, loom over, and the center, loom up like, I will have to check, loom up to here I guess, three times, one, two, three, yeah, now grab your tongue and attach it around this back, simply slide over the double loop band there. And I guess we can loom up the center until here. So go inside that tongue, only grab the bottom two black and loom up until you reach this back. Stop there. And let us do the sides. Stop. No, don't. Well, let me see. Yeah, stop there. Only loom the double looped bends on the side. Don't go any further. So stop on these bags. Don't loom any further. Now grab your dog. You need to stick your hook through the bands on the side beneath the eye. So here is the eye. You need to grab the top two loops on the side and the bottom two loops on the side. I am behind the poof actually doesn't matter. You can also do it in front of the poof, like this, doesn't matter. So stick your hook through like this, make sure you have four loops. Can you guys see this? Four loops on your hook, it's right beneath the set of loops beneath the eye. Um, reach in with your hook, grab the bottom two black, pull them upwards, I'm trying to do this with my loom on its side and slide over the head like this and then loom over. Don't do anything else yet. We also need to attach poof there. So first do the opposite side so it's kind of secure. Search the bands next to the eye. Grab the top two. Am I through correctly? I can't even see myself. Neck, neck. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Talking to myself a lot. Yeah, I believe I have the correct loops. So also the set on the side. 
and do the same thing. Grab those two bottom two, not like a lot. Try not to grab any poof there. I'm constantly grabbing my poof. Yeah, pull through those two black bands. Then pull it through oh my. Yeah. And loom over. Now we need to attach poof to the set we just loomed. This is kind of hard and I don't know if you guys can see this, but attach poof onto those bands you just loomed, where you attached the head with. This is kind of tricky, so take your time. If it doesn't want to, please do this carefully and replace. And then you can loom one set further. Only grab the bottom two. We have to attach poof there too. I will do one side first, and then the other side. Also attach poof there. And loom up once more. Don't continue any further than this. And also create poof onto that set. Really will take some time, but it's worth the effort. So let's do the opposite side. Creating poof there. Also onto the bands where you slide the head over. Then you can loom one set. And attach more poof there. It's a bit like my sheep. It's the same process. Loom over once more. And make poof. Then remove some part of the bottom jaw. Remove at least all the double loop bands. I will remove a little bit more to reach the tongue. I know you guys probably can't see what I'm doing now, but you guys don't have to see. And remove this. All there's left to do is attaching those three sets onto those three packs. I'm going to start in the center. Make sure your hook is true correctly. Follow the tying band and attach it. And loom up the final set. Also do this on the sides, of course. This can also be tricky because of all those loose bands there, all those poofy bands. So take your time to do this correctly. And again, we will also be attaching one more poof onto those last sets we just loomed. Touching the final four loops here. Now create your final set of poof onto those bands. Slide it over, so two bands again. Double loop, slide over, replace. Grab three tying bands again, and this will be the head. Completed already. How long did we? Oh, gosh, 45 minutes. Well, it's worth the effort. It really is. 
remove the dog hat from your loom. It's cute. It's cute. It's awesome. Look at it. Yeah, I can always adjust the ears a tiny bit. Make them face inwards. Oh, this is awesome. Pull a bit on the tongue. And the bottom jaw, of course. Oh, this is cool. Uh, there he or she is. Looks awesome. Well, put the head aside for now. And let us continue with uh, the tail. I will be doing the tail first. Again. Just follow me. Grab two bands first. Two bands. Place one set here. One set in the center. And one set here. The rest will be with a double looped band. Just so a single double loop band. Uh, no, the center first. Go down like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go down nine times with a double loop band. Is that correct? Yes, it is. That one broke on me. Mm, I forgot to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, through, go down one more time. So you went down nine times with a double looped single. Uh, again, uh, grab a single bend, double loop it, but overstretch this one. Place it here, diagonally, and also on the opposite side. Also overstretched. Now make a Horizontal bend, double looped single, place it here. Oh, sorry guys, like this. Cap off the bottom with a single black band by wrapping this around three times. So it won't be too tight. Loom up once, and guess what? Attach poof. So I will turn my loom each time, slide it over, attach the poof. Those are two bands looped, then loom again, attach poof, and loom again. And we need to do this with all the bands there. Loom over again. I need more black bands on this side. Loom first. <laughs> I'm going too fast. Mm. 
and I'll grab the first double loop bend loom over the second loom over and the center loom over now we can attach three poofs again onto all those bands It's actually all I'm doing. And I guess you guys are too. And again, loom. The next set. And the touch poof there. We have to do one more set. Those are two bands. And also poof it. Poof it. Hmm. Is that a word? Guess not. Tie off those three ends. So make a slip knot with another color. We will remove those later. This will be the tail. Carefully remove this from your loom. I hope those double loop bands won't snap. Otherwise, we have to do this all over again. This will be the tail. Like this. Well, you will see it when it's finished. Put this aside for now. This will be the tail of the dog. So put this aside, and I guess now we can do the bracelet. Yay! A lot of work ahead of us. So if you want to take a break or anything, I suggest you do that now. Go grab some coffee or tea or lemonade. And, um, well, let's get to work. Uh, the whole bracelet will be with two bands at a time. And we will only attach poof after each loom. So we need to fill our loom first. Grab two bands at a time and follow me. And now it's handy if my black bands are on this side. A lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Let us continue. We need to go up four times first with two bands at a time. You can also make the bracelet on three row rows instead of five or even make it larger. You can do that too. And you can turn this into a Lumi Time um, watchable. Uh, so you have to click the link below in the description to see how to make a hole in the center so you can push through a Lumi Time watch. It's also very cute, but you will have to click the link below in the description to see how to place the bands to create a hole in the center. Simply fill the entire loom with two bands until you reach the end of your row with all the rows. So this ain't rocket science. Simply attach them, place them. Sorry, you don't, you are not attaching anything here. You're placing bands. Just 
just fill your whole loom with bands, two bands at a time. I actually don't have anything up what I can do next yet. Any design. It's almost Easter, of course. So we will, um, we actually have two birthdays from people in the family. So we are kind of busy this weekend. And uh, simply having a great time with Easter, with our own family, with the children. So I will figure something out as my next design. I don't know yet. Probably a pencil topper, but maybe a bracelet. I don't know yet. It won't be a whole animal for now. Well, maybe, I, I don't know. I will have to see what I can think of. And what works. Sometimes it just don't want to. And I put it aside and the next time, well, it actually makes itself on my, itself on my loom. <laughs> Sometimes that does happen. I don't have to do anything special and it works at once. Almost there. And this is the simple part, the easy part. The hard part will be after we loom. Oh, we didn't make legs. Oh, I will do that later. You don't have to make legs, by the way. I will do this, but First, let's finish up the bracelet. Now go up four times with two bands. Place them on the side. This. And two more. Two, not one. Now we can make, um, we're going to place horizontal bands. You need to stretch two bands over all of the five pegs. That's all there is to it. If you are doing only three rows, uh, double loop a single band over those three. Then do this, double loop a single, like this, if you're doing this on three rows, otherwise it will be too loose if you stretch out two bands. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I hit the wall with two bands. <laughs> I launched them right at it. Well, I should hang a picture of there, there of someone I don't like and I can shoot at them with my bands. No, it's just a joke, of course. I'm pushing down those horizontal bands because we will be attaching the tail there and the head, of course. Well, I'm making pre-made legs. If you don't want to do that, click the link below in the description and see these are two bands at a time. But you can check out the link in the description on how to make your bracelet adjustable. There's also a link there. One, two, three, I will use four. This is too big for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. no, five. Or six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I will do this. I'm thinking. I shouldn't be thinking. 
four. Well, I do this four times. And cap off with a cap band by wrapping this around three times. Obviously, you need to make four of the legs. If you don't know your size, and to be honest, a bracelet with poof will be larger than a normal bracelet of mine. That's why I'm making the legs shorter than normal. And you can decide if you want to add poof to the to the legs, but I won't be doing that. And then we're almost going to do the hard part. The part you want to fast forward me. And take your time while doing this yourself. At ease without me. Screaming into your ears. I'm simply looming up the legs. If you don't know your size, make it adjustable. You can always attach legs later. off. Can I get all four of them around my hook? I guess I can. I have some legs here. I need to attach the legs, one on each corner of course. I think that's obvious. But like I said before, if you don't know your size, make it adjustable. And only place a cap band into this corner by wrapping it around three times or four times. Check the video, I don't remember. Maybe four times, but I'm using pre made legs. So it may, may look small, but it will turn out fine. Now grab your head or your tail. Let's start with the tail. Grab the tail, stick your hook, stick your hook through the set in the center, in the middle. Remove the tying band. One, two, three, four, five, six. Attach it around the seventh peg at the bottom. The, the set in the center. Like this. Then attach the sets next to the set in the center. One here. Oh, sorry, have the poofy part upwards towards you. I will show you in a second. I will turn my loom. Poofy part will have to face towards you. I will show you. If I turn my loom, you can see this. You have a, a straight part um, with the tail, it will have to be on the bottom, like this. So the poof is upwards. Ooh stuck behind my camera. This is the plain part on the bottom. Yes? Turn your loom. Now we're going to attach the head exactly onto the opposite side of the tail. So those three pegs. Have the dog's head looking at you. So the ears are facing up. It's right side up the head. I'm not attaching this correctly. Doesn't want to. Yeah. That's better. We'll also do uh, an introduction video soon. I have my new stuff arrived. But I will do a proper introduction for it. It's something totally different than looming. And I need to figure out myself how it really works. Of course, I did try already, but it's kind of hard. So I will need to figure out myself what to do with it. And then I will show you guys. But I will do an introduction uh, video soon. 
Well, like this, the head is right side up. Oop. Now turn your loom like this, so the head is facing to the right, tail to the left. And we're going to start at the bottom. This is kind of a long process. Grab the top two bands, loom to the sides. But then, attach poof. Laying down a lot of black bands on both sides, I guess. We need to attach poof to each set we loom from now on. So, that's why this video might take uh, a long time. Then, grab the top two bands and loom across and attach poof. You have to do this the whole bracelet. Oh, I lost one band there. Sometimes I, I wish I was a lefty with this, but I'm not. I'm not a lefty. And again, attach poof. I'm going to loom to the side first, but I guess you guys can see that. Now my poof is stuck here. Uh, yeah, grab the next two, top two. Loom across. Also attach poof there on the side. That's why this bracelet will take you some time to make. But it's so awesome with poof. Now loom over once on each row and again attach poof onto each set there. Only oh, grab the bottom two. Whoa, way too many bands there. Yeah, only the bottom two loom over. And again, make it poofy. But it's an awesome design. You did a great job, Rachel, by the way. It will take some time to do this, but it's so worth the effort. You did a great job. And I'm glad I could inspire you to do this. It ain't that hard to do this. But you might need to try a couple of times to make it look like the creature you have in mind. Again, loom once on each row. And attach poof. That's what we need to do the entire time until you reach the end of your loom. Put on some music if you like, or sing a song, or turn on the TV. I can't do all those things. Well, I can do it, but <laughs> I don't have a TV here. I don't have a stereo here. My iPad is li laying downstairs, so it's only me with my loom bands at the attic. And the heater next to me, <laughs> so I'm glad I have a heater next to me. It's kind of cold here. 
but in the summer I will melt away here, so... Then I will turn on a van, I guess. Not too hard. Otherwise all my bands are flying around here. Again, loom up. Well, I guess you guys get the point. You will have to do this until you reach the end of your loom. Entire time. It will take some time to do this, but it will look so cute. Oh, I did kind of make a mistake with the West Highland white bracelet. I thought I used glow bands for the head, but I didn't. But the bracelet is glow in the dark. So that's a very special effect. Oh, I lost one band there, please. Got it. So the body of the West Highland is glowing and the head and the tail aren't. But oh, with daylight you won't see that. Only in the dark. Again, loom up. And make it look poofy. And again. Did I brought any C clips? Yes, I did. I know Rainbow Loom has colored C clips, by the way. That would be uh, awesome to attach black uh, on this bracelet. I don't have them with me. Oh, I need to loom again. Make sure you only grab the bottom two bands here. And those were stuck a tiny bit. Also with the head, only grab the bottom two. And make it look poofy. My color C clips they are a tiny bit larger. Or it may only be the color, I don't know. But I thought they were a tiny bit higher. So there will be, uh, there can fit in more bands. Is that correct? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I will definitely put some black colored C-clips on this bracelet later. I only have the transparent with me. But that will do. And again, loom. And now I do have to turn my loom because I can't see the bottom two bands. And again, make it poofy. Again, loom one set. And make it look poofy again. Once you get the hang of this, it will 
go a little bit faster. But you don't have to do this fast. You can also take your time. It can even take days for you to finish the bracelet. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do this fast. And if you press the fo fast forward button, I'm already done. Yay! I'm not quite. Again, loom one set. Make it poofy. Loom. Oh, Rachel, that coaster was a great idea too. I really loved it. A flattened dog by the mug. <laughs> it was also an awesome idea. Not my idea, but Rachel, her ID, if you make a bracelet, not poofy of course, because then the mug uh, will wobble, but if you make this 12 rows long, and the rest will be the same actually, um, you will have a coaster. <laughs> That's also awesome. You can also use uh, Kate Schultz, her move it forward technique if you have only one loom. You can also make it um, 12 rows long that way. But you will have to check out her uh, YouTube channel, Isalicious Designs. There you can check out the move it forward technique. So if you want to make a coaster... I would love to see them, by the way, and I guess Rachel too, so post them on my Facebook page or on Instagram, so it's visible to us. Otherwise, I will never notice if you created anything from my YouTube channel. And I love to see your uh, all your creations. That's awesome. Oh, loom first, final set. And we're already there. It's only one band. We need to have two. Make it poofy again. I took way too many black bands, but oh, it's fine. Could put them in the bag later. We're not there yet completely. Now go behind this leg, only grab the bottom two, 
bloom towards the side and make it poofy. Then loom sidewards again, grab only the bottom two bands and loom to the side. Also make that look poofy. Unless you don't want to. You don't have to, you can also make it plain. Loom to the side again, make it poofy. And the final set also make that one poofy. And try to retouch. Now grab two bands of your main body color. Stick your hook through this corner, through all those bands. And pull through those two bands and create a slip knot with them. So this corner is secure by the bands, secured by the bands. Pull tight a tiny bit. We will hide those bands inside the bracelet. Now remove this from your loom and your Scotty bracelet will be done. Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> I'm excited how it looks. I haven't seen it in black, of course. Yeah, well, I did actually. <laughs> Rachel already did a Lumi time. Um, well, a watchable Scotty bracelet thingy. And that looked awesome. So I actually did see it. Huh. But not on my own wrist yet. So I'm excited. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> this is awesome. Simply remove this from your loom. Take your time, especially with the head and the tail. Don't just rip it off your loom because it could snap, of course. It's not likely to snap because it's with two bands, but it can happen, of course, if you Pull this off quickly. I'm almost there, guys. How about you? Almost, almost, almost. There it is! Oh, this is awesome! Cool. This is so cute. I know it's hard to see because it's black, but this is so awesome. Well, flip it around, flip it over, hide those two bands on the bottom of the bracelet, the side you will wear around your wrist, pull it through some of the loops there. You won't be able to see it anyways. Pull it through some bands there. Then grab your C-clip. Two of them. Oh, almost lost one. Touch those legs together. All I'm doing is attaching the C-clips to the cap bands of the legs. If you made it adjustable, you will also use a C-clip, but on 
a few loose bands. Come on, I want to fit this around my wrist. I'm eager to to fit this around my wrist. That's why this this doesn't want to go quickly, of course. Haha. <laughs> doesn't want to you will have to yes got it and now I will find can fit this around oh awesome yeah oh this is great look at this a Scotty bracelet oh thank you so so much Rachel for this yeah you should be proud of yourself I know you told me not to promote your shop or your page on Facebook, but I am doing that. You can find, um, well, I liked it as my page. So you can find uh, the icon of Rachel, her page on the left bottom on my Facebook page. I liked her page, so you can check it out there. Oh, Rachel, thank you so much for this. This is awesome. Look at it. Great. But guys, this is the bottom. You can see how it looks. The bottom from the side. This is so awesome. Thank you so, so much, Rachel, for this. This is so wonderful. Well, guys, I hope you um, enjoyed this tutorial. This was kind of uh, new for me, too doing a design based on my own designs uh, someone else um, created so it was kind of new for me too but it was fun i had fun i hope you guys had fun um like subscribe share um and uh, follow me on twitter i have twitter instagram you can also check out google plus well, actually, almost every social media site I'm on with Lumbicious. So check that out. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. There is a tiny subscribe button at the right bottom corner in this video on YouTube. Click it and uh, subscribe. It's free and it will help me out a lot. So, guys, thank you very much. And Rachel... Um, it's a privilege to do this for you because you did a wonderful job in designing this um, West Highland White slash Scotty. It's uh, really awesome. Thank you so much. Guys, have a great night. Have a great weekend and enjoy um, the holidays. Have a great uh, Easter. Bye-bye, guys. Have fun. <laughs>